गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मुक्त प्या सीनियर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस एंड मैनेजमेंट जयपुर नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी आई विल टीच यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ईच एंड एवरी एरेना एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट इज बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन इज दी लाइफ लाइन ऑफ एनी बिजनेस ओके कम्युनिकेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड एवरीवेयर ओके communication is required in marketing finance hr operations it each and every organization communication is omnipresent so what do you mean by communication okay it is the exchange of ideas it is the exchange of ideas information between two or more people so this is the meaning and communication is a circular process okay communication involves the sharing of ideas and it is the exchange of information and in communication the very important thing is the body language your facial expressions your gesture each and everything is very much important and you have to maintain a eye contact also now where the word and how the word this particular communication has been derived the communication word is derived from the latin word okay it's a communis to make a common okay so communication can be effective when there is a common background when there is a common platform for the sender and for the receiver okay and communication involves proper understanding of the behavior also now what is the particular process theek hai what is the process so communication starts with the sender then he will encode the message he will encode the message then there is a proper medium which you called as a channel then there is a decoding and after that message is received by the receiver but receiver has to give the feedback to the sender so we can see communication is a is a particularly important process it starts with the sender it ends with the receiver with a proper feedback now there are two types of communication verbal communication non verbal communication in the verbal communication there is the use of words and in the non verbal communication you use a para language you use a gesture posture body language eye contact each and everything now what are the types verbal communication and non verbal verbal communication involves use of words when you speak okay it can be divided into two types one is the oral communication and another is the written communication in the oral communication you try to use the words but with a oral message whereas in the written communication you use a official letter mails okay business correspondence etc there is a written record of a written communication and it is more authentic also in the oral communication you cannot keep a record but due to ICT information communication technology we can make a record of the oral communication also okay now we come to non verbal communication non verbal communication starts with your body language body language occupies 70% of your total communication and 30% is your verbal communication so non verbal is 
वर्बल इज ओनली थर्टी परसेंट फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन इज दी लास्ट इंप्रेशन ओके सो वेन एनी कैंडिडेट गोज फॉर द इंटरव्यू द वे ही ड्रेसेस हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ द वे ही मेक आई कॉन्टेक्ट द प्रॉपर अपियरेंस ओके दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट इट हैज अ वेटेज ऑफ कंप्लीट सेवेंटी सेवेंटी परसेंट नाउ सेकेंड इज दी आई कॉन्टेक्ट If a if a small young guy, he tells a lie to the mom, he cannot make an eye contact. So eye contact depicts the confidence. That how much confident you are. Then third is the posture gestures. Posture gestures are also important. Okay, your expressions, the way you carry yourself, each and everything. Because non-verbal communication is. more important than the verbal communication okay so these are the two types of the communication now we come to objectives like what are the objectives of the communication there are many objectives of communication we will see them one by one first and very important objective it is the information exchange of information how you share your information how you convey your ideas second is the order you have to give an order like supreme court supreme court makes an order okay third when you will give some any suggestion okay suggestion is also an important objectives and it can be given by anyone then next is when you are advising something now what is the difference between the two suggestion can be given by anyone but advice always comes from the expert then warning warning is also an important objective like uh, danger sign okay near the near the road near the transformer sixth motivation when you are influencing the influencing the audience when you are encouraging them so motivation is also an important objective next raising morale raising morale means to give proper passion to energize the people to raise their team spirit and last is influencing someone so these are the eight objectives okay but the important objective is the exchange of information okay now we come to seven c's of the communication what are the Seven C's. It can be included in the principles of effective communication. So, what are those C's? The first is the clarity. You should have a clarity of your ideas. That how knowledgeable. you are have you organized your ideas in your mind second is a channel what is the medium by which you are transmitting the information what is the path third capability are you capable to deliver the effective communication are you expert person are you effective communicator are you effective orator then content content means that you should have something in your mind which you want to deliver content is the main body or the theme crux of the message then fifth is context context means in which background you are talking about like if i say that particular girl is hot 
okay so we can understand but if i say this room is hot it means see temperature is very hot so contextual usage is important because most of the misunderstandings occur due to wrong usage of the words in a wrong environment so we have to use the right words at the right time in the right environment then sixth c credibility so credibility is important because you have to be you have to have a trust trust factor is important like if amitabh bachchan or mr narendra modi prime minister he deliver any speech you feel very elated you feel there is something truth in that so that is called as a credibility theek okay? hai and last c is the completeness communication has to be complete in all the aspects it cannot be incomplete okay so these are the seven c's now we come to 4s like we have seen what are the what are the seven c's now we come to 4s first is simplicity you don't have to use a difficult words you don't use the jargons or the technical words you do not have to show that you are a admirer or you read your dictionary vocabulary okay you have to use a simple language your communication should be simple to understand it should not use the difficult words which even a layman or a common man does not know then second is shortness we say brevity is the soul of wit okay brevity is the soul of a wit witty person keeps his messages and ideas in a very short sentences so brevity is the soul of a witty person so your communication has to be concise it has to be to the point it cannot be lengthy it cannot be complicated it has to be logical meaningful concise third sincerity you must be honest in your communication see communication is a irreversible process the words spoken by you you cannot take those words back okay like whatever words you have whatever words you have uh, gone uttered then it cannot be taken back by you so communication should be honest your speaker has to be honest sincere and strength your communication should be strong it has to be powerful okay so these are the four s of business communication now why business communication is important why it is important in the present organization okay as i said before communication is the life blood of a business okay an organization without communication can never be successful success of any organization depends upon the proper communication like there are many entrepreneurs aditya birla kumar mangalam birla ratan tata narayan murthy so they are effective communicators shiv kheda okay so what is the importance why business communication is important okay so very important thing is it is it is helpful in proper planning so when you want to go for a plan you will go for business communication communication helps in planning each and everything like suppose in if each and every person they don't talk to each other they don't negotiate with each other then there will be no proper planning second decision making communication helps in proper decision making because if you don't take a decision there will be a problem third better control communication helps in proper monitoring proper surveillance proper vigilance also 
then democratic functioning you know hitler he was an autocratic man he was an autocratic leader so participative management can only be achieved by communication where each and every person has a right to say or a freedom of speech freedom of uh, expression so democratic functioning of the organization will only take place if there is a proper communication then conflict resolution conflict can be solved if there is a proper communication all the misunderstandings all the disputes all the quarrels they can be solved by a proper communication like in the marriages also the main reason for the divorce is the misunderstandings so if both husband and wife they don't talk to each other they don't communicate with each other they make the impasse in their mind they make a deadlock in their mind so communication helps in reducing the disputes then next is boosting morale morale will be boosted by communication your spirit your passion your enthusiasm all can be boosted by the proper communication then next importance is employee satisfaction employees will be satisfied and if employees are satisfied obviously customers will be satisfied and if employees are dissatisfied customers will also be dissatisfied and there will be reduced strikes labor turnover will be less like if a top management does not communicate with the fellow people with the workers then the that particular employee will not work in that organization so it helps in talent management also business communication helps in retaining the people it helps in managing their talent next molding attitudes attitudes can be molded by communication if you do not talk to each other your attitude your compatibility or chemistry or temperament will not be matched so your attitude can only come at equal level if there is a proper business communication and the last importance it improves the goodwill of a company reputation of the company improves if there is a proper communication so communication as i already said it is the lifeline of the business it is omnipresent it is required everywhere so this is the importance of the communication now in the next lecture i will talk about the channels okay thank you so much thank you very much